The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I, do you know I have friends of yours at my house? <laughs> oh, well, he, she has friends like me, too. But you know what? It just got pretty cold. I think it's time for me to fly to Florida. Oh, yes, yes. Where it's warmer, or Arizona, maybe. Okay. Some place where it's hot. Maybe, maybe. Um, and I can lay out in the sun. Maybe uh, you could go to Cozumel, Mexico. Cozumel? Yes. Been there? Done that. And, nice. and you're going to go again? Probably not. Okay. Well, but can I go in was, your stead? It was nice, but it's a long walk to the boat. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a book to read from to my friends about thankfulness on the first Thanksgiving. Do okay, you want to help well, me with that? I'll see you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> have a good flight. wonder if he's going to fly all the way to... Oh, I'm going to go check on him. Yeah, Tell him to not go too far. He's a little bit of a bird brain. Yeah, I know. Bird brain, get it? Oh, boy. My first Thanksgiving. My first, th this is the first Thanksgiving. The Pilgrims had a feast to thank God for their being together in their new home. Their friends came with food for the feast. We celebrate Thanksgiving every November. We like to trace our hands and make turkeys. Gobble, 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 gobble. There's lots to do in the kitchen. We will eat turkey with stuffing, cranberry sauce, sweet potatoes, pumpkin pie, and mincemeat pie for dinner. Do you? I never tried. Oh, it's delicious. Just like the pilgrims, we give thanks for our food and for being together on Thanksgiving. Yay! Hey! Hey! Hey, hey! You know what? No, 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 no. Not not time yet. Not time yet. Why not? It it it's not time yet. It's Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is, yes, it is. It's time for Christmas. No, for no, Christmas. it's not time for Christmas are you, are you, are yet. Are you sure? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'm it's really only a few sure. days away. No, 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 oh, that's, oh, oh, yes, that's oh, called yes. Thanksgiving. Well, Tell them. you're a little bit early. Wait till next week. Oh, you mean it's not this week? No. No, it's next week you're supposed to come. Oh, oh, it's okay. It, 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 it's okay. I just feel so bad. I wanted to be oh. here today and, and sing Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, the way. Oh, not, my son, you need to yet. write it one more time. No, no, like. no, not yet. Wow. Are Maybe you trying later. to snow our way? No. No snow! No. Not that S word snow. No, no snow. Oh, yes. No snow. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Phew. Thank goodness. Okay. Shoot. So I have another book. Oh, 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 but, but, but what? But, um, I, I have a song for the boys and girls. Okay. I'm ready. I'm all ears. All right. Thank you, thank you very much for everything that I can touch. Thanks a lot for nature's food and for when I'm feeling good. Thank you, thank you very much for moms and dads and friends and such. Yay! That's a nice song, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. I like that song. I got a second verse. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Let's be thankful for this day, for our friends and for our play. Let's be thankful, let's be glad for the food and things we have. Let's give thanks for you and me and, and our home and family. Yay. Yay.
that was so sweet. Very nice. Oh, oh that so was what nice. Do you have for us? I I have a, a actually I have a book, and it's called Pete the Cat. Really, you but, have a book, huh? But it's not Pete. You're not Pete, are you? Kind of looks. No, like I'm Pete, repeat. <laughs> oh gracious, yes. Well, I'm going to read this story. So. Um, Pete was nervous about being a pilgrim in his class Thanksgiving play. The first Thanksgiving, just do your best, his friend said. Pete said he would try. He was, he, he was really going to try hard. His mother had even made him a pilgrim hat, which was really cool. Pete took his place at the front of the giant ship that his class had made out of cardboard. Pete was a pilgrim on the Mayflower. In 16, it's the ship that the pilgrims came over from. In 1620, a group of pilgrims decided to leave England for the new world to build a new life. It was a long, long trip on a big, big ship. All the pilgrims sang. The sea was rough and very dangerous. Many pilgrims got very sick. The dream of a new start in the new world made the hard trip all worth it. For more than two months, the pilgrims sailed. After 65 days on the ship, the new world finally came into view. Aha! Land ahoy! Land ahoy, Pete cried. All the pilgrims did a happy dance. And you're doing a happy dance, aren't you? <laughs> the pilgrims arrived in the New World at Plymouth Rock in what is now Massachusetts. Everyone had many chores to do, like growing food and finding water and building shelters. The first winter in the New World was long and hard. In the spring, the pilgrims had to decide whether to give up or go back to England and keep on trying. And keep on trying? <gasps> the pilgrims had heard about the Native Americans and many worried that they would not be friendly. Pete had never met a cat he didn't like, so he thought they would be kind. They are too, see? <gasps> Pete was right. He made a new friend in Sequanico and the other Native Americans showed the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn and beans and squash. By summer, the pilgrims had learned how to farm the new land. I see some squash. By fall, the pilgrims had plenty of food to thank him for and the other Native Americans. The pilgrims invited them to share in the harvest. Pete was relieved when the play was over. He had remembered all his lines. Wow, I never thought about how hard it was back then, Pete said. You did great, Callie said. Later at Thanksgiving dinner with his family, Pete said, let's all go around the table and say something we are thankful for. <gasps> my family, I'm thankful for my family, said Pete. I'm thankful for my skateboard, said Bob. And I'm thankful for the brave pilgrims that started this new free world, said Pete. And what are you thankful for? My whole, whole family. That's good. How about you, Jane? What are you thankful for? Everything. Everything? And what are you thankful for? Oh, you know what? Miss His what? Aw, and what are you thankful for? For my puppy. For your puppies? Yeah, we have, we have one puppy, one kitty. Ah, well, I'm thankful for this kitty cat right here. How are you doing? Okay, hey. Hey, what? If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, say I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, say I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, say I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, do all three. Three. Clap your hands. Don't stomp your feet. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands. If you're thankful, I am. Then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, do all three. Do all three. Clap, clap. I am. Yay! Hey, let's put up five fingers, boys and girls. Five. Five fingers. Yep. Five little turkeys went outside to play. Mother said, be careful. Gobble, gobble, gobble. gobble it's gobble, Thanksgiving gobble. Day. <gasps> no. The first little turkey didn't even see no. the Indian who was hiding behind the maple tree. Uh -oh. The second little turkey decided she better scoot when she heard the sound of the little pilgrim's boot. <gasps> The third little turkey went to climb a tree. He climbed too high and fell and skinned his knee. Oh, no. The fourth little turkey didn't have a care. She went running in the woods and saw a pilgrim there. The fifth little turkey was left all alone. He started to cry. <laughs> ran all the way home. <gasps> oh, oh, yay! Well, I wanted to read a little story about Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving, which is coming real soon, isn't it? It already was? No, not yet. Coming soon. Well, it was. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning and aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip would soon begin. They sang as they rode through the autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brain. O'er the rivers and through the woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter that they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkeys? And a little old man so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment that it was Farmer McNugget. <gasps> he was dressed all in denim from his head to his toes with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw more rapid than Chickens, the cockerels, they came. They whistled and they shouted and they called them by name. <gasps> now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo. On Wally, on Beaver, on Shimp and <gasps> Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew and they gobbled and they giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an ax by the door, and she asked Farmer McNugget what was it for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, those feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted 
for a Thanksgiving feast. <gasps> the children stood up until tears filled their eyes and they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried Mac Nugget. Now what shall we do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everybody down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up and their drinks in the hay, then thanked old Mag Nugget, and they waddled away. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked around. Not a turkey in sight. <gasps> Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and all the stars up above shone down on a school bus, abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys the most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living. And then they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. The end. Wow. But now it's time to say goodbye. <gasps> say, say goodbye. goodbye. Say, say goodbye. goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> we'll see we'll you see all, all next week. week. Yay! Yay! Happy Thanksgiving, boys and girls. Don't eat too much. This story is called Turkey Surprise by Peggy Archer. Two pilgrim brothers sang as they walked down the path together. Oh, we're two mighty pilgrims coming your way, looking for a turkey for Thanksgiving Day. Oh, we'll pluck him and stuff him and cook him up right. We will gobble gobble turkey for dinner tonight. The little pilgrim thought about plucking and stuffing. He thought about cooking. He wasn't so sure about plucking and stuffing and cooking. He wasn't so sure about having a turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Oh, the first turkey we see will be Thanksgiving dinner, said the big pilgrim. The little pilgrim looked through his spyglass. Uh, but what if we don't see any turkeys, he asked. Oh, don't worry, said the big pilgrim. We will. Around the bend, a turkey was in a tizzy. The pilgrim brother... I screwed up. Can Start it right over. Okay. Around the bend, a turkey was in a tizzy. Oh, the pilgrim brothers are coming, he cried. If they see me, they'll pluck out all my feathers. Stuff me with breadcrumbs and cook me for Thanksgiving dinner. Where, oh, where can I hide? Turkey, a bird called. Fly up here in this tree. The leaves will hide you. The turkey took a running start. He flapped his wings. He flew up into the tree. Then whoosh, a breeze climbed into the air. It blew the dry leaves right off the tree. Oh no, cried the turkey. Here come the Pilgrim Brothers. The little pilgrim looked through his spyglass. He saw a tree with its leaves on the ground. He saw something in the tree. Oh, I'm tired of turkey for Thanksgiving dinner, the little pilgrim said. Are you sure we want a turkey? Oh, well, the big Turk pilgrim said, Father wants a turkey. Okay. 
come on, the little pilgrim said. Let's go this way. And off they went in another direction, singing, Oh, we're two mighty pilgrims coming your way, looking for a turkey for Thanksgiving Day. Oh, we'll pluck him and stuff him and cook him up right. We'll gobble, gobble turkey for dinner tonight. The turkey ran the other way. He saw a gopher sitting in the grass. The Pilgrim Brothers are coming, the turkey cried. If they see me, they will pluck out all my feathers, stuff me with breadcrumbs, and cook me for Thanksgiving dinner. Where, oh, where can I hide? Oh, you can hide in a hole in the ground like me, the gopher said. He jumped into his gopher hole. The turkey dove in after him. His head went in, his neck went in, but the rest of him would not go in. Oh, help, cried the turkey, I'm stuck. Now what will I do? Don't worry, said the gopher. From inside his gopher hole, he pushed and pushed. Pop! The turkey fell backward onto the ground. Oh dear, cried the turkey. Here come the Pilgrim Brothers. The little pilgrim looked through his spyglass. He saw a gopher hole. He saw something sitting next to the gopher hole. I never really liked turkey, the little pilgrim said. Are you really sure we want a turkey for Thanksgiving dinner? Well, said the big pilgrim, mother wants a turkey. Oh, come on, the little pilgrim said, let's go this way. And off they went in a new direction, singing. We're two mighty pilgrims coming your way, looking for a turkey for Thanksgiving Day. Oh, we'll pluck him and stuff him and cook him up right. We'll gobble, gobble turkey for dinner tonight. The turkey ran the other way. He came to a pond. A fish was swimming in circles. Oh, fish, the turkey cried. The Pilgrim Brothers are coming. If they see me, they will pluck out all of my feathers, stuff me with breadcrumbs, and cook me for Thanksgiving dinner. Where, oh, where can I hide? You can hide behind the rock like me, said the fish. See, just jump into the water. The turkey jumped into the water. Pop! He sank to the bottom of the pond. Gurgle, gurgle, went the water into his eyes and nose. <coughs> went the turkey as he pushed himself up. Splutter, splatter, went the water out of the turkey's nose and mouth. I just remembered, he said to the fish, turkeys can't swim. And here come the Pilgrim Brothers. The little pilgrim looked through his spyglass. He saw a pond. He saw something big and wet beside the pond. Turkey, 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 the little pilgrim said. Is that all anyone has for Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, well, no, the big pilgrim said. There's corn on the cob and applesauce and dessert too. But mother and father want us to bring home a turkey. Well, said the little pilgrim, what if we can't find a turkey? The big pilgrim thought, well, we'll have to bring something home, he said. The little pilgrim looked through his spyglass again. Oh, I'll meet you at the pumpkin patch, he said. The big pilgrim went to the pumpkin patch. The little pilgrim went to the pond. He came face to face with the turkey. Come on, he said to the turkey. You can hide behind the wood pile like I do. The turkey trembled. Quick, said the little pilgrim, before my brother sees you. The turkey ducked behind the wood pile. The little pilgrim smiled. He went to find his brother. Oh, what a good Thanksgiving dinner we will bring home, he said. 
The two pilgrim brothers walked down the path together. They carried a heavy pumpkin between them. They sang, Ah, oh, we're two mighty pilgrims coming your way, bringing home a feast for Thanksgiving Day. Turkey sounds good, all stuffed with bread, but we'd rather gobble gobble pumpkin pie instead. The end.